Sharks are by far one of the world's most feared creatures. From hammerheads to great whites, sharks have been the deep blues predators for almost 400 million years. While few people are killed by sharks each year, the media portrays these creatures as monstrous killing machines. Given this, it is quite easy to be afraid of the animals that lurk in the depths of the deep blue. And I know sharks are not the demons we often make them out to be. However, it's hard to not be afraid of those predators with their glittering millions of large, sharp teeth. So here we are. I've most likely managed to get you to rethink your love of the ocean, and I haven't even gotten to the good part. My story begins with my family and I speeding across the deep blue in a little boat. I remember every detail of this experience that changed my outlook on fear and life. I felt the sprays of water splash lightly on all our faces as the boat slapped against the water. Too soon we had reached our destination. And there we were, in the middle of the cobalt blue expanse. The rest of the passengers on the boat were practically bouncing with excitement. While I too felt this pit of excitement inside me, I also felt an impending dread. The deep sea is a mystical world that is so different from ours. It is human nature to have the desire to explore the unknown. And as much as the explorer in all of us yearns to be free, and as much as we try to explore all that we can, there is often little known of these mystic worlds. According to the NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the ocean covers 71% of the Earth's surface and contains 97% of the planet's water. Yet more than 95% of the underwater world remains unexplored. If that's not scary and thought-provoking, then I don't know what is. As the boat slowed to a stop, everything happened so quickly. In seconds, we had already pulled on our fins and tightened our masks. And before I knew it, we were there, lightly treading in the ocean. Now, I'm not a person who hates the ocean. I've loved it ever since I was a baby. But I've always had a fear of sharks and what lay deep beneath me in the water. It was difficult to even agree to this daunting experience that my, brothers, my brother and parents were so looking forward to. Although I have to admit, at some points, I was excited too. Though it was hard to ignore the fact that we were swimming in very deep waters with who knows what swimming with us. So there we were. We had already made it to, essentially, or at least what felt like, the middle of the ocean. Our destination was an old, derelict shipwreck that somehow managed to be enchanting and intriguing at the same time. Our plan was to snorkel over it. The whole thing was incredible. We snorkeled over an algae-covered, fish-inhabited shipwreck. Fish darted out and about me. A lone octopus poked out from a crevice. However, I was also all too conscious of the dark figures that swam slyly beneath me, like cunning monsters waiting to strike. But once I got into it, once I really got into the moment, the experience surrounded me and shrouded any fears or doubts I had. Yes, there were barracudas and stingrays and sharks, but the funny thing is, I didn't even notice. I had worked up all this hype and fear, only to realize it wasn't even necessary. Yes, sharks and other deep-sea creatures are terrifying, and sometimes they kill people. But if fear were to stop us at every corner, where would we be? In our rooms at home all day? Never talking to each other, never experiencing life? If there's one thing I've learned, it's that you need to step out of your comfort zone. There are possible dangers that lurk around every corner. But you can't let this stop you from experiencing something incredible. You have to set fear aside and live in the moment, as I suppose I did. I was pretty freaked out, no doubt. My fear of sharks and the ocean's creatures that lurk in the deep made me hesitant. However, realizing this experience was probably one in a million, I overcame my fear and had an incredible moment in my life. This journey has been a huge part of my life, and I recently reached my destination. Fear of something is a huge obstacle, but overcoming it throughout life can lead up to an incredible moment. 
I'm sure everyone here has done some great and pretty cool things. But just wonder what unbelievable things you can experience if you're open to everything. Try and overcome whatever fears you have and attempt remarkable experiences you wouldn't have otherwise tried because of your fear. Yeah, I snorkeled over a huge shipwreck in deep waters with fish of all kind, barracudas, stingrays, and sharks blown around me. And it was scary. But you know what? The experience itself was so worth it. It was incredible and cool and fun and exciting. So I'm here now, today, to urge you to grasp fear by the horns and toss it aside. I'm here to urge you to go and experience the, world won the world's wonders. Go experience something incredible. Then go convince other people to do the same. Earlier, I mentioned that as human beings, we all have a sense of adventurousness in us. And everything has some degree of scariness behind it. So we can't let this stop us. Let the inner adventurer break through. Don't be stupid, be safe. But take what you fear most into perspective and allow yourself to enjoy an incredible experience. As Mark Twain advised, do the thing you fear most, and the death of fear is certain. Thank you.